Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking and Chilling with Jimmy Eats. I'm your host, Jimmy Eats. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, I want to start off this video with a shout out for a kid named Zach Corinta. Zach, you're my 200th subscriber. Man, what a feat that's been. It's been a heck of a run. I really appreciate your subscription. Um, you know, it just shows uh, that people are still watching and I really appreciate that. So Zach, I got you a t-shirt coming your way. Um, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Well, on the other hand, now I'm going to cook on the Blackstone today. I'm in the mood for a big, fat, juicy cheeseburger. It's been a while since I've indulged myself into a sandwich, and I think it's uh, it's well, well appreciated. I've waited for it. So if you guys want to see how I'm going to make a big, fat cheeseburger, stick around. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to put on this burger, I have a little bit of Roman tomato, some green pepper, a mushroom, some white onion. This is right here is a 6 ounce 80-20 pre-made patty. They had a big sale on them at Fairway. I bought about 20 of them. So I'm going to use that for my patty. And a little treat that I made myself the other day, it's called Jimmy's Jimmy Q's Sweet and Sassy Barbecue. Something new I came up with. This stuff is off the hook. So I can't wait to try that on my burger. It's going to be super, super good. Okay, and then for the seasoning, I'm going to put some of this Dizzy Dust. It's uh, it's really good on burgers. It's good on pork chops. It's good on steak. It's kind of an all-around good uh, seasoning to put on anything. So that's what I'm going to put on. Oh, and then, of course, I'm going to have some cheese. And I'm going to have one of them big ballpark buns without the sesame seeds. They're uh, a little bit less calories without the sesame seeds. So we'll start off with uh, seasoning up this patty, get it on the Blackstone, and start prepping up some of these veggies. All right, so we'll start seasoning up this patty. So this, it's called Dizzy Pig Dizzy Dust. It's some pretty, pretty good stuff. You put it on kind of thick. I like to get it on there real good. Get both sides. Now, what I like to do is I like to take the remnants that fall off and kind of get the edges. Get a little bit of that dizzy dust on the whole dang thing. You put a lot of stuff on there. You got a good flavor when you get a lot of stuff. Okay, once you got it coated pretty good, you can go ahead and throw it on the blackstone. I'm just going to throw it right over here to the side when I got done prepping I'll move the camera we'll see everything I'm doing so I'm gonna set it right here I just turned the uh, blackstone on it's about a, a medium heat no need to add any oil or any butter because that that patty will produce plenty of oil itself so okay so after that I'm gonna go ahead and you don't have to worry about this it's all gonna cook together I'm gonna put up a few slices of this onion I'm gonna lather it up with some sauteed onion I love a lot of onions. So that's about enough for one patty. Like that. We're going to get that on there. We're going to let that saute. And then, of course, I'm going to slice into some of this big giant green pepper. I'm just going to do it this way. And then just do another slice like that. Pop it off there. Pretty easy way to cut a pepper. I kind of learned that a while ago it's kind of a neat way to do it get some of that membrane off there throw that away and I just want to slice it up fairly thin so that way they get good and soft but that's plenty for one burger right there that put them in with the, the onions okay now of course the mushroom I cut that fairly thin as well it don't really matter as well, you can get it good and soft. Mushroom. I like a lot of mushroom on my burger. Pretty good sized mushroom. So put that on there as well. Now for the veggies, I am gonna go ahead and throw a little shot of canola oil that I have in this bowl bottle. Just gonna pour a little bit on there so I don't burn them up. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is this thing's pretty thick. I'm gonna smash it down just a little bit. Just so I got 
a little bit more room on my bun, I guess I could say. But it's cooking. It's going to get a good crust on the bottom there. I'm going to go ahead and stir up these veggies a little bit. I don't want nothing to burn. Okay, now on the veggies, you got to have a little seasoning as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more of this dizzy dust on the veggies. That way everybody's happy. All the ingredients are seasoned up and treated right. I've been waiting to try my barbecue sauce on a burger, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to go ahead and flip this burger once. Give it a try. There we go. Got a little crust going on there. Just like I like it. Perfect. Okay, now, while that's waiting, I'm going to throw on one of these ballpark buns. These are pretty good buns. I suppose they're just like from the ballpark, if that's what you want to say. So I'm going to put one of these on and get it toasted a little bit, get it ready for the, the build. I'm just going to set it right here next to that burger. Just put a little toast on the bottom of it. Okay, so while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and take a few slices off this Roma tomato. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the top off like this. And then I'm going to cut it in half because I want the bigger pieces. So like... Right here, I'm going to have that's one slice for my burger. That's one slice for my burger. I think that would probably do it. Two slices will be plenty. All right, take a look at these buns. They won't take long. See, I've got a little crisp on there. Just what I was looking for. This side, just right. We'll have that ready for just a little bit. Mix up these here veggies a little bit more. Get them soft. Let's try the other side of this, this burger. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're going to give it one more flip. I think I'm getting really close to build time. These are looking pretty good. About where I like them. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put this together. I'm going to put these, these veggies right on top. I am on good. Try to get it all to stay. I got a trick for that if it works out right. Just like that. Now, I have two ounces of shredded cheese that I shredded earlier that I'm going to put on top. Now, this can be a pretty good amount of cheese. I want it to melt all through them veggies and stick on there real good. Just about all two ounces will fit. I think I'll get it all to fit. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do to give it a little bit of a... So it'll, it'll melt real good. Put my lid over. Give just a little shot of water. Get some steam going on there. And that'll melt that stuff right up. Alright, so let's see where we're at. Voila! The cheese looks amazing. This is exactly what I was looking for. We'll scoop it up. Put it right on the bun. Just like that. I'm going to shut the heat off. I'm going to slide everything over so we can see. Like so. Now... I'm going to put some lettuce that I have. It's leaf lettuce. Real nice looking lettuce. Get everything so you can see it. Of course, I want to put my tomatoes on top. Just like that. And then, for the, the top off, I'm going to pour some of this barbecue sauce right over top of it. It's going to be amazing. I think that'll be enough. All right, give me a minute. Let it cool down so I can take a slice. We'll take a bite. Check it out. 
All right, so let's put the lid on this guy. Let's put a slice to this thing. Let's see what we think of the inside. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah. Now, tell me that don't look delicious, everybody. All right. That looks nice. So, I'm going to take a bite. Give me one second. All right, everybody. So, we have this big, nice burger. It looks delish. You know, burgers are my favorite thing to make on the black. It's so easy. They're quick. Have a nice burger like this done in, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. I'll tell you what. Let's take a bite of this guy. I've been staring at it. Can't wait to try it with my barbecue sauce. Mmm. Oh, that's off the hook. That is really good. I might have some of this barbecue sauce available for a giveaway pretty soon. I was talking about it on my Facebook page. I think it's a good idea. I can't sell it. I don't have rights to sell it. I have to go through the FDA and all this other fancy stuff. But I can give it away all I want. Um, also, there's a place in Correctionville down at the old grocery store. It's called The Stir. Really good friend of mine, Sandy Castle, owns that. She mentioned to me that she would might be willing to let me do like a taste test thing down there uh, for the public to come down and check it out. So I'm going to touch base with her again, see what she says, and if you guys are interested in trying some of my new barbecue sauces, we'll make it happen. I got two made right now. I'm going to work on another one. So we'll work on it. So, man, I'll tell you what, if you guys like this comment, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate the thumbs up. You know, give me some comments. Tell me what you think of this burger. Tell me what you think of my uh, my barbecue sauce idea. Or just make comment to comment. Whatever you want to do. I like all the all the activity I can get. So, thank you, Zach, for the 200 subscriber subscription. You're the best. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your T-shirt. Um, you know, I'm gonna quit talking. I'm gonna start eating. So, with that being said, everybody, I'm Jimmy Eats. And that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat. Thanks. Have a great day.